Kim Hunt had melanoma four years ago. She says sunscreen was not a priority when she was younger. I wouldn't reapply all the time because although I knew that I wasn't really going to get tan, um, there was some hope that I would get a little bit of color. Dermatologists hope new labels on sunscreen products will help consumers make better choices about the products they use to block the sun's harmful rays. You should see sweat resistant or water resistant plus 40 minutes or 80 minutes, meaning reapply that every 40 minutes or 80 minutes. New label requirements from the Food and Drug Administration do away with words like sunblock, waterproof, and sweatproof. Products will only get the water resistant label if they pass testing. Same goes for broad spectrum, which means the sunscreen protects against both UVA and UVB rays. Anything off the shelf that says broad spectrum SPF 30 to 50, and you should use it and reapply it, and that should take all the confusion away. Under the new rules, a product with an SPF below 15 has a warning saying it only helps prevent sunburn and does not help prevent against skin cancer or skin aging. Dermatologists also recommend putting on sunscreen 15 minutes before going out, wear hats and protective clothing, and stay in the shade when you can. Hunt is now vigilant about protecting her skin from the sun. I don't walk out of the house with anything less than 30. My, um, my moisturizer has SPF in it. The new regulations will also apply to cosmetics and moisturizers that have sun protection. Ines Foray for CBS News, New York.